Wednesday edition of Second Grade News. Today is September 2nd, 2020. Please stand and join Raymond from our class in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Awesome job, guys. Today in reading, we are going to be listening to Chester's Way again and completing our second portion of the Picture It vocabulary page. We're also going to be reading a passage called Brave Brook. Don't forget to use your strategy, SRRP, when you're looking at this passage and answering your questions. All right, we're also going to be reviewing this, the K sound made by CK and some of the other ways that we can make the K sound as well. In math, you're going to be reviewing different ways to show tens and ones. Now, I'm going to kick it over to my favorite segment, What You Read in Wednesday. For today's What You Read in Wednesday post, I decided to choose another one of my favorite books from Kevin King. I chose Lily's Purple Plastic Purse. This book is so funny, and it features one of our characters from Chester's Way, which we'll be reading today, which is Lily. One of the things I love about Kevin Hinks is sometimes he puts characters from other stories into his books. So there you might see Lily, like you see Lily in Chester's Way, and she has her own book, and Sheila Ray the Brave. Wendell was in that book from Wendell, from Weekend at Wendell's. So there are lots of different ways that Kevin Hinks spotlights his characters. But in this book, Lily takes her purple plastic purse to school and she ends up getting in trouble. And it ends up being a sweet, funny tale about Lily's purple plastic purse and her teacher and the um, journey they go on together. So this is a super fun book and if you're really good this week, I might read it to you before Friday. I hope you guys have a great day. Hey guys, let's get ready for calendar today. Remember, the first thing that we are going to do in calendar is we are going to see our days of the week song for today and two more days. So here we go. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Very good. Now, after we sang our days of the week song, we know that yesterday was Tuesday, which means today is Wednesday, and tomorrow will be Thursday. All right, so we need to go on to our Macarena Month. So here we go. Ready? Everybody up. Macarena Month. So we start with January. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Good job. Now remember, we have started a new month and this is a long month. It is September. Let's spell that together. Here we go. S E P T E M B E R. September. Good job. We also are trying to figure out what our new September pattern is going to be. And we know that yesterday we started with a red square. Let's go ahead and flip over today's pattern or today's um, date tag to see what it's going to be. We have a yellow rectangle. Hmm. So go ahead and take a little bit to pause your video. Draw yourself a rectangle and color it yellow. And we're gonna see what we think the pattern might be. If you wanna make some predictions at home to what it might be tomorrow, you can go ahead and do that. That would be a cool way to get your brain moving this morning. Now, yesterday was the 17th day of school, so we wrote the number 17 on our hundreds chart. Today, what number do you think we're gonna write on our hundreds chart? Yesterday was 17, today is going to be the 18th day. Very good. So we need to make sure that our hundreds, tens, and ones chart says 18. All right, so we had 17 yesterday, which means we're going to add a ones cube in today. 
So we have one 10 rod still, and now we have eight ones cubed. So make sure that on your page you have eight one cubes colored in. One 10 plus eight ones equals 18. Very good. We're gonna add another penny into our chart as well. So you're gonna take a penny, the coppery brown one, remember? And we're gonna put it in your pocket. So right now, you should have one dime, one nickel, and three pennies. All right, remember, when we count our money, we always start with the coin that's worth the most value. And in our pocket, the coin that's worth the most value is a dime. Dime, dime, little and thin. I remember you're worth 10. All right, so we're gonna count by tens when we say a dime. When we have a nickel, we're gonna count by fives because we know nickel, nickel, thick and fat. You're worth five cents, I know that, all right? So tens, fives, and ones, here we go. We're gonna say 10. Then we switch to counting by fives. So the next number after 10 is 15. So here we go, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So today we have 18 cents or $0 and 18 cents. So remember we can write that two different ways. We're going to look at our clock for today. All right, and we are going to add one minute to our clock. So here we go. Remember, when we reach one of these landmark numbers here, we can count by fives until we can't go anymore. So here we go. Five, 10, 15, can I go to the next one? Not yet, so I have 15, 16, 17, 18. So we know that 18 minutes have passed around the clock, so it is now 118. All right, here we go. Let's do our pattern of the day. We are going to count by 10, and we are going to start at the number 140. So we're gonna start at the number 140, counting by tens, okay? I want you to go ahead and pause your video and fill out your pattern of the day and then come back and check to see if you were correct. All right, here we go. We have 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190. All right, what happens after 90? Normally it would be 100, but we already are at 100. So we have to move up to the next 100, which would be 200. And then we start all over again with 10. So now we have 210, 220, 230. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in reading groups.